Okay, now we're going to actually show you it in action. We're going to actually show you the, the MP202B. We'll take it out of the box, we'll plug it into the power, connect it to the fax machine, and actually show a fax as we send it through eFax. Then at the end, we'll show you the notification that comes back in. So first of all, here's the box that you would get when you purchase it through um, fax connected or through VoIP supply. And um, basically all you do is just take out the box. The first thing you'll notice is it comes with a quick start guide. Here's just a quick view of the quick start guide. And just wanted to show you, you know, um, steps one, steps two, and steps three. Just so you kind of got a feel for what information. And specifically, step two is the important one where it shows you how to key in the PIN number on that. So, in addition to that, here is the actual MP202B that we showed you earlier in the video. And uh, of course, the power cord and the extra network and phone cables. I actually have those hooked up here, so we'll just leave those in the box. Move all the stuff to the side. Okay, so let's just take this over here and plug in the power. Let's take this off here. All right, so plug in the power. And we just plug it onto the back here. Then, as we showed you, we plug the phone into phone one and then the network into the WAN port of the ATA. And um, as we showed you earlier, it's going to show you the lights here, go through the boot up sequence, which takes probably three to four minutes, depending. Typically, it goes quite quickly, so if I just at the long shot, it will take me that long to, to go online. And really, what we're looking for is when all the lights go green, especially these first three. You'll notice there's still one here that's red, so we're just waiting for that to go green. Once this is done, we'll actually send a fax through the fax machine going right to you to EFAX. So we're still waiting for the lights to come on. Okay, so now they're all three green, and that basically means the device is ready to go. So the next step is what we need to do, and again, going back to the quick start guide, is we need to key in the pin. So let's do that. Okay, now we're looking at the close-up of the keypad of the fax machine, and I'll just quickly show you how you key in the pin. As explained on the quick start guide, we'll show you that a little closer in a minute, but it's just simply star one star followed by the pin number. So let's select fax, and then we'll go star one star, and then the pin number, which is one zero four five nine zero, followed by the pound key. And on this fax machine, we're gonna select black, then it just asks, since we're actually dialing, do you want to scan from the glass? We'll say yes. And now you should hear it actually dial. So if you heard from the audio prompt, the fax is now, the pin number has been set, so the device is now active. So now we can actually go through and send a fax. Okay, so um, as you saw, we just keyed in the pin number and we actually activated the fax machine through the fax connected service. And now the fax machine and the fax ATA is all connected up and ready to send a fax through, through EDFAX. So let's do that right now. So I'm going to go grab a fax and this is just a document that I've got, I've got a signature, your typical fax that you need to send through. So we'll put it into the fax machine. And um, again, again, hit the fax. And let's dial the number. With the fax, of course, you always have to dial one. So we'll do one. All right, so I've got the number dialed in. Hit the go. And now it's, as you can hear, going off hook, dialing. You'll also notice on the fax ATY it's dialing, the green lights on port one has gone off hook. That kind of gives you a good indication that the fax machine is actually active and sending the fax from the device over the internet to the connector's service right now. So it's connected. There it goes to scan it. One thing just to mention too, that the fax is actually being sent from the fax machine to the fax connected service. Once it gets there, It'll then be transmitted over to eFax for actually delivery. So keep in mind that just 
because the fax, the fax has gone through the device here, it has actually not been sent yet until it goes to eFax, because it is actually eFax that is going to physically send the fax. So it's done scanning. So at this point, it's just going to, it's transmitting the image. As soon as it hangs up, the fax is at fax connected, and eFax will then get it and actually send it through your account. So it's just about done. And again, you can see the light's still on here, so you know it's still actually transmitting the fax to the fax connected service. Okay, you just get the confirmation. The light's gone off, so the fax is now sitting at fax connected, and in a second or two, it's been sent to eFax. E now we'll go to the computer and actually look at the confirmation that came back from eFax. So here's the notification that came back. And as you can see, this is just the standard fax notification that eFax sends you. The only thing that's different is the subject says fax machine. So it really gives you an easy way to tell the difference between your standard faxing from the desktop fax notifications and the ones now that are coming from your fax machine. And it'll give you the same information, the fax number it'll send to, like transmission ID and things like that too. So again, you'll see how the fax machine is merged right into eFax and complements what you're currently doing and sending faxes.